going to determine the limits at infinity and also find the horizontal asymptotes. There's a trick that we have, a technique called limit of quotient technique. When taking the limit of a fraction with variables in both the numerator and denominator, we can divide both parts by the highest power of the variable. Also, when we're taking limits as they approach positive or negative infinity for rational functions, if the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, the limit is going to equal zero. If the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator, then the limit is found by dividing only the highest powers terms. And finally, if the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator, then the limit fails to exist. Let's look at the quotient 2 minus 3x plus x squared over 7 plus 4x minus 5x squared as x approaches infinity. If we use the technique above here, we divide through by the highest power, which is x squared. We would then have the limit of 2 over x squared minus 3 over x plus 1 divided by 7 over x squared plus 4 over x minus 5. We're taking the limit as x approaches infinity. Now as x gets very, very large, x squared in the denominator gets extremely large. So 2 over this becomes 0, this becomes 0. So we're left with a 1 in the numerator. And these two terms drop out, and we're left with a negative 5 in the denominator. So the limit of this is equal to negative 1 fifth. Now, as we look at limits at infinity for rational functions, let's look at the degree of the numerator and denominator. In this case, the degree of the numerator is degree of the numerator is 2. The degree of the denominator is 2. Since they're the same, then the limit is found by dividing only the highest powers. So all we have to do is look at these two terms. The rest we can forget. x squared over negative 5x squared reduces to negative 1 fifth. So that's where our limit's going to equal in this rational functions. Now please notice negative 1 fifth is the same as negative 0.2 and if we go to graph this there would in fact be a horizontal asymptote at the line y equals negative 0.2 or negative 1 fifth.